Welcome back to our weekly cybersecurity news roundup for the week of January 8th, 2024, where we dive into cyber headlines that shaped the week to keep you informed and protected. Let's get started. First up, swatting, the new extortion method in ransomware attacks on hospitals. In a concerning trend, cyber criminals are now using swatting as an extortion tactic in ransomware attacks, particularly targeting medical institutions. Swatting involves making a hoax call to the police about serious incidents like a bomb threat, leading to significant police responses at the victim's home. Attackers are now threatening hospitals that if they don't pay the ransom, the attackers will use the personal information obtained in the hack about the patients and send the police to the homes of those patients. Notable incidents include the Fred Hutchinson Cancer Center in Seattle and the Integris Health in Oklahoma where patients faced threats of swatting if the hospitals did not pay the ransom. This escalation in cyber attack tactics highlights the increasing severity and sophistication of threats in the healthcare sector. Next, Lone Depot hit by ransomware attack impacting customer data. Lone Depot, a leading U.S. mortgage lender, has confirmed a ransomware attack that resulted in data encryption, affecting customer access to its services. Over the weekend, customers faced difficulties logging into the payment portal and contacting the company. Loan Depot, with over $140 billion in serviced loans and approximately 6,000 employees, quickly responded by taking certain systems offline and initiating an investigation with external cybersecurity experts. The company has informed customers that recurring payments will be processed, albeit with delays. However, new payments via the portal are currently not possible, with customers being advised to use the call center. This incident, which involved unauthorized access and encryption of data, is still under investigation to determine its full impact. Next up, Oric Law Firm suffers major data breach affecting over 600,000 individuals. Oric, Harrington, and Sutcliffe, a global law firm, has disclosed a significant data breach that impacted around 638,000 individuals. The breach occurred between February 28th and March 13th, 2023, when actors gained unauthorized access to the firm's network, including data storage that contained client files. Oric specializes in serving technology, energy, and financial sector clients with a notable presence in corporate, finance, litigation, intellectual property, and cybersecurity legal services. The breach not only affected Oric's client data, but also customers of these clients who had previously suffered data breaches. The firm took immediate action to block the access and initiated an in-depth investigation. The information compromised in the breach included names, addresses, email addresses, dates of birth, social security numbers, driver's licenses, passport numbers, financial account details, medical information, and more. In response to the breach, Oric has notified the affected individuals and law enforcement. This highlights the growing cybersecurity challenges faced by law firms handling sensitive information. Oric is currently in the process of settling class action lawsuits related to this breach. And finally, Mandiant's X account hijacked in cryptocurrency scam. Mandiant, a prominent American cybersecurity firm and subsidiary of Google, recently experienced a security incident of its own with its X or Twitter account. The account was hijacked to impersonate the phantom crypto wallet and promote a cryptocurrency scam. The attackers posted about distributing free phantom tokens as part of a fake airdrop, directing users to a scam website. This site, posting as the phantom wallet, aimed to drain users' cryptocurrency wallets. However, phantom wallet has since flagged the site as part of a phishing attack warning users, and disabling interactions to protect funds. Mandiant has regained control of their account and is working on restoration, but the username remains altered due to Twitter's restrictions on frequent name changes. And that concludes our look at this week's top cybersecurity stories. As the digital landscape evolves, staying informed is your first line of defense. If you found this roundup helpful, please like, share, and subscribe to be notified about new content.